हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल ओरेकल टेक इंडिया दिस इज अनिल के शर्मा टुडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल टेल यू हाउ अ न्यू टेबल इज क्रिएटेड इन ओरेकल एसक्यूएल अ टेबल इन ओरेकल एसक्यूएल इज यूज्ड टू स्टोर इंफॉर्मेशन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रोस एंड कॉलम्स इन ए टेबल हियर इन दिस स्लाइड I have a table and the name of the table is customer. This customer table has three columns: customer ID, customer name, and city. So information in table customer is stored in the form of rows and columns. This is the row information. comes here in rows and this is the column information comes here in column also so we can say that information is stored in the form of rows and columns in a table and in a database multiple tables can be there many tables are joined on the basis of primary key and foreign key so in this video lecture we will see how a new table is created so those who are new to this channel please subscribe my channel let's get started and the name of the topic is how do i create a new table in oracle sql for creating any table in oracle sql first of all got uh, go to the sql command prompt let's suppose this is the sql command prompt right here basic sql keyword for creating a table in oracle sql so the basic keyword is create create table this is the basic keyword for creating any table in oracle sql create table and then give the name of this table here in this slide the name of the table is customer so i give here table name customer now give a bracket and write the column names that you want to attach to this table customer so i will give here the first column name that 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 i will attach to it here the first column name is customer id so i give here customer id this customer id column will store numeric value so for numeric value we have to write number number is used to store numeric value write here number and this number is used to store numeric value and then give size i give here size 10 this size 10 means customer id column will store data maximum 10 digits in length now give note null comma note null here means that customer id column cannot contain null value it is necessary that you have to give customer id to this customer id column otherwise it will give error because customer id column cannot contain null value so this is all about the first column now give second column name here in this slide second column name is customer name so i give here customer name customer name this customer name column will store 
character value so for character value we write where care to write here where care to and then give size i give here size 50 it means that customer name column will store data maximum 50 characters in length and then give note null and comma this customer name column also cannot contain null value so this is the second column all about this is all about the second column now third column third column in this table is city so i give here third column name city this city column will also store character value so for character value we have to write where care to right here where care to and then give size i give here size 50 and then close the bracket and then and this statement by putting semicolon so right here semicolon and then press enter as soon as you press enter your table is created with the name customer let's do it practically by going to the sql command prompt but before that let's understand a little more about number and varchar 2 right here number number can store number can store a numeric value up to Five times nine point nine nine. It means that here I have a specified number. So this number can store numeric value up to five times nine point nine digits in length. So this is all about the number. Now where care to where care to has the maximum size four thousand byte where care here i have specified where care 2 so this where care 2 has the maximum size 4000 bytes it means that one byte equal to eight characters so 4000 byte equal to 4000 into 8 32000 characters this where care can store 32000 characters so this is all about the uh, this is all about the worker 2. Now go back to the SQL command prompt and see how a table is created in Oracle SQL. I will connect to Oracle database through HR user. So write here C O double N. Connect HR forward slash HR. First HR is the name of the user and the second HR is the password of this user HR. Now press enter. 
now i am connected to oracle database through hr user now i will check all the columns all the tables exist in hr user so for that i will write select table name from user underscore tables and then press enter so here in this hr user we have tables like countries job history reasons departments employees locations jobs but table with the name customer does not exist here here i will create a table with the name customer create table table name customer and then column name customer id number 10 not null comma customer name bracket 2 size 50 not null comma city bracket 2 size 50 bracket close and then terminator sign and then enter now your table is created with with the name customer let's check it select table underscore name from user underscore tables here on the top the table with the name customer is there so here i have just created a table with the name customer so you can also check the physical structure of this table customer by writing describe command so write here describe and the table name customer press enter here customer id customer name and city all these are the column names that i have attached to this table customer so here we have seen that how a table is created in oracle sql now i uh, clear this screen clear s c r so this is all about how a table is created in oracle sql thank you thank you guys for watching my videos and please don't don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you